Japan's unique culture combines high-tech international cities and historic hidden beauty with its mountainous terrain unchanged for centuries. The roads to Tokyo are a journey back in time. One of the most famous called the Nakasendo Way. Nakasendo Way means the, the way through the mountains. This is one of five roads that led from the shogun's capital of Edo, which is present-day Tokyo, up to Kyoto. The story of this ancient path, as historian Oleg Benesh explains, is vividly depicted in these 19th century woodblock prints. Here we see a few pilgrims, we see peasants, we see people carrying goods, and we don't see any wheeled traffic. Someone wearing kind of a basket, this strange headgear was worn by Buddhist monks, a mask from another era. And not unlike the road to Tokyo 2020, embarking on this journey required strength and courage. This looks like it might be the start of a samurai procession. I think you can see people wearing two swords. Out. Two swords. They wore Usually, two so swords. Samurai would normally wear two swords. These days, the roads provide fresh air for hikers seeking a break from the troubles of modern life and the pandemic. They want to feel nature and uh, like a Japanese old culture. In the olden days, this 350-mile trek took two weeks, and along the route were 69 so-called post towns. You can see how people have never arrived. We've got a few horses here, people having a chat. It's a Wild West kind of scene. It certainly has that feeling. I mean, I think there's a few... Uh, fewer six-shooters than you might have in the American Wild West, but uh, yeah, it's certainly got that vibe. This is the ancient post town of Sumago. I mean, it looks like a movie set, right? I mean, uh, uh, everything is so well preserved. You don't see any cars, so it looks and feels like it did 100, 200 years ago. In the tourist office, Mr. Fujiwara unravels one of the original maps. He tells us it charts a route through the mountains where travellers encounter beautiful bamboo forests, waterfalls, shrines and castles. This image here is of um, Inuyama Castle, which is the oldest surviving castle keep in Japan. It still exists today. The road could be dangerous too. In the early days, there were bandits. This bell is for scaring off bears. At the end of a long day, a welcome chance to rest, checking into an inn, or as the Japanese call them, a ryokan. Yeah, so this would be a traditional Japanese inn, and we can see a lot of paper sliding doors. See everyone is, is eating their meals. And you get to have a bath. And you get to have a bath. This past few years, we've all felt a little like weary travelers. Escaping to Japan's historic mountain road. A chance to forget the troubles of today and take a breath. Wow. And if you get the chance to travel on the Nakasendo Way, you get one of these amazing stamp books where oh. they'll stamp for you every post town that you've stopped in oh, or in cool. with these beautiful little stamps. So it's really, it's, that's really lovely. Yeah. And my children have taught me never to come back with a, on a, from a trip without gifts so here we go these are some sweets from the local area they come in this lovely wrapped box but okay. i'll put them in a they're Plate. chestnut flavor yeah. chestnut um, what do um, and um see if you can <laughs> pass that down <laughs> Take one and pass it down. Stab it. Okay, here we go. I don't know how else to What are they called? Watch out, because you remember what happened with the cotton candy. Okay. <laughs> way, that was so funny. Do we eat? Mm. Yum. You want like one? That? Well, that's good. Mm. I, I've had a few already. Right? It's yummy. <laughs> you want one? Here, I'll get you. Like coffee. I got yours. Coffee. Yeah, it's mm. caramelly. Chestnut? What is it called? Here, here. <laughs> eat it. It's getting weird. Okay. Oh, it was weird an hour ago. Thank you. Yeah, and I can't wait to. Uh, I didn't expect that to go there. Yeah. Thanks, I like it. Thanks for the treat. These are great. These are really good. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.